Hello everyone, welcome back to Reads Reviews, and today we'll be doing a mini Megatron review, as you can see. So here we have, like, Kingdom Megatron, which is meant to be G1 version. We have Legacy United Megatron from uh, Energon, and we have the G2 version of Megatron from Legacy. So, well, as you can plainly see here, one of these things is not like the other, and... This version of Megatron being from the Energon universe, which is a sequel series to the, well, I say sequel series, but I mean a follow-up in a way to Armada. And this is our most, like, recent, like, Energon figure, because, like, core class is where they honestly test the water, because these are all, like, small pocket-sized, like, cheap transforming figures. You'll pretty much, like, find these, like, for ten bucks, like, everywhere. So, I honestly do recommend them. So, we're gonna start with the new mold first, and then start with the older designs next, because these are basic, these are just the same molds, just repainted. So, let's throw that out of the way. And this. So, here we have some weird Cybertronian jet, as you can see. And with the tank up here... Like, if it looks familiar, this is meant to be his Armada form. Like, like the Armada tank, like, as you can see here, with, like, the details of, like, all the panels here, the, like, entire top of the turret section here. Just with the sword poking out the back. But on the original toy of this, you could remove that sword. I think it could store somewhere on the vehicle mode. I, I don't really know. I never had experience with it. So... Yeah, yeah, this is all, like, beautifully painted, honestly, and then, well, if you look at the bottom, you can see how he transforms, it's kind of obvious, but yeah, so, when we get to that transformation, take off this piece here, it tabs in using these two right here, set that off to the side, bring up the wings, as you can see, like, this just to get him out of the way, Untab the legs from the shoulders here. Do it on both sides. Swivel them forward. Bring down the feet. And there you have the bottom half done. For the arms, just bring them around. Bring it down. And for the backpack, just rotate this all around. Shred the rings back, wings back out. Bring down the entire front of the nose cone. And then rotate the head around. And here we have... Energon Megatron in his robot mode, and it looks really good. <laughs> like, a very faithful, like, update to, and to the, like, original toy. And if he does look a bit familiar, because he basically looks like Galvatron, but in Megatron colors with some neon green and, like, splashed in for the wings and all the cannons up here. And this would eventually get repainted into Galvatron colors, but I have a feeling they're going to do that for the eventual, like, repaint of this guy. Because that's the only other thing you can do with this. So, yeah. So, to use the weapon, you can plug it in on the arm, like this, having the blade facing forward. Or you can rotate it around and have, like, traditional Megatron fusion cannon-esque dealy. As you can see here, and it is blast effect compatible. So are these guns up here. But if you don't want those, you can just take off the guns here and then use them as regular blasters. Or what I like to personally do is use the port that it can be, well, for handheld uses and just point them forward. And then just plug on this arm, and then boom. I honestly prefer that look. Then also it helps to get the shoulder guns out of the way for the articulation. So the only thing he has at the head is a swivel. That's it. For like his arm can only go out that far because it has to have the ports to put the shoulder guns on. It can do almost a full 360. Well, actually it can only go up about that far before bumping into the tab here on the arm. Because it, this is where it like tabs in for like vehicle mode so yeah so 
Like, you can get them, like, good amount, good amount, like, forward and back. It's just that you can't really have them. Well, you can if you just force it past. So, never mind. You can't go a full 360. So, yeah. So, his elbow is on a bull joint. So, it has 90 degrees of bend and a rotation all built in. Nothing at the waist due to how it transforms. And the, the hips are on ball joints, so they can go forward that far. And, well, not back at all. Can do the full splits. And has a thigh swivel due to transformation. And over 90 degrees of bend at the knee. But do note, I've had to do some fixes on this. Mostly just to thicken up the tabs. Because when I first got this, this leg was, like, notoriously loose. And would just fall off if I, like, bumped it the wrong way. So recommendation just put a bit of super glue around the like on like the knee piece here like where it like rubs up against the like leg itself that fix it right up and i haven't had it fall off ever since so yeah so to for a comparison here he is with his previous like unicron trilogy design that being Armada Megatron. So, very much a different design between the two. And I honestly hope we do get a bigger version of this mold. Well, not of this mold specifically, but of this, like, version of Megatron to go with him. But that'll probably be way down in the future. So, yeah. Uh, let's do for the other Megatrons, let's do G1 Megs. This being his ever so defaulted tank mode because he legally can't be a gun ever again. But if you notice the tank barrel here, it looks a bit off. That's because you can, well, articulation for the tank is just that it has a rotation for the turret and can move up that's it so but if you notice here this looks suspiciously like megatron's like first ever alt mode and honestly this is a really clever way of getting around it and it also gives a chance for you to give characters like a gun version of Megatron, like to show off, for example, like it has a thrill three millimeter port right here, so you can use it on, say, like other core classes. Like it is a bit snug, but you can give it to other core classes if you want Megatron holding himself from a different universe. And it has five millimeter like connections here on the top, so like. Assuming it's like flat here back on the elbow, then you can basically give like just a random bot like a Megatron in gun mode, which is honestly really clever. Also, do note I did paint this white so it would look different here from the fusion cannon and make it look kind of more like his regular G1 mode. Like, I know it was silver, but it, considering it'd be silver on gunmetal, it wouldn't be all that noticeable to me so i just decided to paint like this so the first thing of transformation just rip that off and there is a way for you to have a tank mode just flip the cannon barrel around and then just flip this around and then boom you can still have a tank mode even with the gun detached so yeah but on to transformation so start off just bring out the arms and set that up for later so let's bring down the legs make sure all tabs into place like bring it on, on this double hinge rotate this around bring that up unpeg the arms from each other bring them forward to make sure that they tab in right here there you go rotate that forward rotate this and then bring all this back down and around on the backpack and here we have megatron in his robot mode and it's honestly a nice little megs <laughs> like sure he has a bunch of like shoulder-esque kibble and like well all the treads here on the back but 
I mean, you can take it off because it is on a clip. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to risk damaging it. And you can also store the gun here on the back using one of these, like, 3mm ports here. So you can have that, like, shoulder cannon thing that he had in the original animation. And this here is the same transformation, so I'm just going to transform it off camera. And here we have the Neon Nightmare that is G2 Megatron. So, as you can see, it's the exact same mold, but in, well, neon green and with purple camo, I guess? Like, in some orange highlights, and also an orange, like, the Decepticon, like, G2, like, thing. I would have put it in the, well, in my big G2 review that I have, but honestly, I felt like it'd be better just to pair the same molds together. So yeah, then also in comparison, here we have the newest Megatron, Core Megatron to join the ranks. So yeah, so it does come, so this like version of Megatron does come with the same accessories and has all the same articulation. But I am going to be showing articulation off with him because for some reason on this version, specific on like my copy of like Megatron here, it's just subject to a lot of like paint chipping, like weirdly enough, especially on the chest area because this is all painted silver and same thing goes for the head here. I'm like, I don't know why it's chipping, but it is. So I'm just going to put him off camera and show off articulation with G2 Megs. So for articulation, he has a swivel at the head, ball joint at the shoulder that can go up that far and can only go forward that far. Not much back due to the, well, this. He has a ball joint at the elbow, just like 90 degrees of bend and can rotate. Same thing on the other side, but he kind of has a wrist swivel due to transformation, but it's not really all that usable in my mind. Also, the cannon here is 5mm like, compatible, so you can put blast effects in it. Same thing goes for the regular version, so... Yeah, like that. Also, the cannon barrel is on a rotation due to transformation. So, and he does have a waist swivel, which is really nice, especially on the core class. His legs can go back that far and can go forward that far. He can do a full splits and has a ball joint at the knee, allowing him to go 90 and have a rotation there. So, yeah. Honestly, a really good, like, pocket-sized, like, versions of... Well, our most, our favorite maniacal despot. So. I honestly say, if you can find this mold specifically, like on the aftermarket, I honestly say go for it because, for one, this like little Megatron gun here is really nice. And especially if you want to display it with like Starscream for like 86 movie scenes if you have any of that set up i honestly recommend like going after this version specifically but this g2 version honestly has had a lot more fun with due to it not paint chipping and honestly just a bit more fun to mess with compared to him and then energon megatron here was honestly a really good delight like i wasn't expecting much from it but I had a lot of fun, especially after I first got it, because I have never handled this design before. So, well, I do hope for a bigger version, like, later on down the line, I do think this is a really good, like, version that we have right now. So, that has been my review for the Core Class Megatrons. Give me a like, some like, comment, subscribe. I have a bunch of other reviews on my channel. I even have the like classic decepticon trio review that i have is like have a like of other megatron stuff like that's where you can find that i also have a patreon link on my channel if you want to help keep the lights running around here so thank you and have a good rest of your day this is re reviews signing out